Oh my goodness. Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee with Car Tours, hosted by Marika and I. Hey Marika. Hi Karen. My internet connection is very bad today, so if I disappear every now and again, just bear with me. <laughs> yeah, bear with us folks. Um, it's something that we just don't have control over. And how beautiful and lovely is Hennessy. His mane oh, was gorgeous. just so beautifully brushed and he just um, the owner just absolutely oozed love and appreciation for him. That was just so special. <laughs> Folks, please go onto our website and subscribe to our newsletters as we receive so many compliments about the content and the work that we are doing and try our best to show heartfelt stories and where your donations are going to. This is Caesar Boy. What can we say? Please subscribe to our newsletter to find out more about his story. We received our due diligence certificate from the community chest. Three years running now. So what does that mean? The nonprofit sector subscribes to the standards upheld in the NPO code, which promotes best practice. Sorry best practice standards in ethics, integrity, accountability, and transparency. We tick all four boxes, folks. What a wonderful achievement. And our calendars are for sale again for 140 Rand, um, which includes purchase this year. So please do support this annual fundraiser of ours as we really, really enjoy putting these this calendar is together for you and we hope you enjoy them as much as we enjoy putting it together for you. What does, the calendar, what does the calendar look like? Have you got one to show? Uh, can you give me a second? <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. The Here funny go. thing is... <laughs> <laughs> I had to move from my office to the lounge because they were trimming trees and it was very loud and I forgot to bring over the calendar. But this is the calendar for 2002. I know it seems quite far away, but you know what? It is an amazing gift. And, um, and I'm going to read you January's story. There's so many more. Um, and this is, there we go, still trying to master the left and right of this. <laughs> and you're looking at royalty. I'm now, I'm now Lady Laurie, who was born at the R&R, &R, the Recovery and Rehabilitation Centre. I'm very confident and admired for my rare beauty and graceful ways. My mom, Blondie, is the kindest loving mother I could wish for. Sadly, she is blind in one eye, so I help her. The good news is that we've both been adopted. So folks, please, like I said, it's an awesome gift. We put so much time and energy into labor of love, so please, please, please do support this fundraiser of ours. Oh, let me get back, catch, catch my breath back. <laughs> During our AGM on the 12th of October, the Epping City Improvement District donated a whopping, wait for it, 10,000 Rand to us. We are absolutely freaking over the moon. So if you are a business in the Epping um, area, please consider donating to us. You can always come and visit which we are just around the corner, and see where your much-needed donations are going to. Folks, this story actually touched my heart, and um, I thought I just should bring it to your attention. Um, a lady was walking a dog. The dog's called Jolie. 
around the newly opened Rose Memorial area. Just a few weeks ago, and when she looked again, Jolie was missing, and she could not find her for an agonizing three hours. She then received a chilling phone call from a man that she had that said to her that she, he had her dog and that they wanted a ransom for her to get her dog back. They clearly got her cell number off Jolie's dog tag. She called the police, but because this lady handed over the money, it was considered a reward and nothing could be done. So please be vigilant. I mean, you do walk on our mountains. Please, please, please walk your dogs on a lead. I know it's great to let them run free in the mountains, but please keep them on a lead. Yeah, if you you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse, and today we're going to be talking, showing you a short video of um, Nathan Daniels, and. We would like you to like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. And don't feel shy to hit that share button. Right now, we have exactly five viewers that watch us live. We do have a lot of people that watch the videos afterwards. But we would love to see that number soar, even if it is just a vanity metric. We would love to have more people view our show every Wednesday. So please share. Absolutely, Marika. A lot of people are working and they can't join us right now, but a lot of people do come on afterwards. And um, and as you say, don't forget to hit that share button. Our lineup today, I will be telling you how fundraising had to go virtual the last year. A presentation that I did at our, at our AGM on the 12th of October. And we also have a lovely interview with Nathan Daniels with his horse Simba and his best friend, a much-loved dog that we all absolutely adore, Sasha. And then something about a goat. So please stay tuned, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please bear with me. I'm going to share my presentation. I haven't done this in a while. Share. Share screen. I'm clearly not as good with Marika with this. <laughs> That's why she's the background person. Um, there we go. Um, okay. Just when lockdown happened, we had to all basically pack up and and go home and start working from the office. As you can see, I'm working in my lounge. And my partner David was in the on the the, the the dining room table and I had to to manage my my my, my desk and it was a bit bobbly so I had to put a teaspoon on there. And and yes we were very very worried about how fundraising would would work in this very uncertain times and we basically um everything fundraising had to basically had to go virtual but we were still invited to the heart bay riding center which still hosted the carousel event for us in um just a little bit after lockdown and we still received those much needed funds. Hooves and Paws continue to support us with their sales. And we were invited to the Stellenbosch District Riding School. Um, and there were no spectators, none whatsoever. But we were still there with all our flags and bunting and everything. And and on the and on the left, you can see that's also malls were not doing um promotions we just had to leave a static promotion and that is basically how fundraising went but Karen, we can still only we, see the first screen we can't see the second slide you can't see the second slide 
Uh-uh. Right. We can only... Okay, is that better if I do it like that? I don't know, it's, it's not, not sharing perfect. yet. Uh, sorry, folks. That's why Marika does what she does. <laughs> um, we did do this earlier on, and I, for some reason it's not working. Share. Um, share screen. Okay, um, I'm just going to leave that for now. But it was very, very difficult mastering um, through last year. Fundraising basically went went online, and Marika, Megan, and I had to wade through the virtual madness of what to do, what not to do. And that's basically how Coffee with Cartels came about. And that is why we got online and doing our fundraising. And people came out in, in it, was, it, it was, was very, very special to see how people actually continue to support us because with so much human need out there, animal welfare suffered immensely. And our dedicated supporters carried on and, and, and continued continue to support us so we were going to have our birthday bash at food and list um, which we planned to bring in much needed funding but that could not happen we couldn't do presentations and networking and and yeah it was it was very trying and challenging times and in tando which means love um, which is an mpo themselves supported us um as well as numerous charities and they brought in much needed funding from their supporters and we are so forever grateful for them and we sold all 400 calendars so please do buy one um, we also attended like i said webinars and we became the producers executive producers <laughs> directors script writers camera ladies video editors, critics, gophers, set designers, and so, so much more. But we were determined to carry on fundraising for our precious cart horses. And and one of the the major things that we've done is is coffee with cart horse. And our first episode, which is which is on our Facebook page as well as YouTube, was the Basutu project then we did blind love and we gained much traction and so far we've had thousands of views and um we are 26 shows down under our belts it was very nerve-wracking in the beginning and then we also went international with oliver lazarus and philippa johnson which as i said last time we she'll be coming to visit but once again, we really, really cannot thank our donors enough for the unwavering support you have um, entered into a partnership with us to raise much needed funding for these precious sentient beings. We would not be here without you. Please continue to support us and consider leaving a leaving legacy like Bertha van Flit did, enabling us to purchase the Recovery and Rehabilitation Center in Gordons Bay looking after the abused horses that have been confiscated. Sorry about my presentation. Marika, <laughs> I didn't realize how hard your job was. <laughs> Goodness. No matter how many dry ones. Folks, it seems there is never really a good time to do an interview at the clinic, as there is always so much going on and to try and find a quiet place, well, not really happening. We really hope you can hear this wonderful interview we have with Nathan Daniels and his horse Simba and his best friend Sasha. Yeah. 
here with Nathan Daniels and Simba. And Simba, as you can see, is a beautiful, beautiful horse. And, um, and Nathan's a cart horse owner. And Nathan, how did you get into the industry? Uh, what people we doing? We were young. When you were younger. And how long have you been in the industry for? Uh, I think in, uh, 18 years. Yeah. Okay. And then how did you how did you get this beautiful horse yeah. Simba? I used to work on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Old man, so I was vegetable. And he was always in the jungle. She gave it to you? Yes, she got to work with you for so long. Okay. And how long have you been working for Simba? Simba? 45 years. Four to five years? Yeah. And he's the only one that you have? Yeah, no, for now, yeah. For now. Okay. And do you take your kids to school with Simba? Yes. Yeah. You do? Yes. Yeah. So you take them on the cart in the morning? Yes, yeah, honey. Okay. And during the evening also. The evenings as well. And does Simba have his own stable? Yeah. And where do you, where do you, where do you use the stable? Well, what area? Malala Park. Malala Park. And tell me, tell me about the special relationship that Simba has with, with Sasha. Yeah, that's good. Good relationship. Do they sleep together at night? Yes. In the stable? Yeah. And wherever Simba goes, Sasha goes? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We're going to put out in the yard. She's on it. And do you rent, do you rent Simba out? No, no, no. You work with him only? Yes, you know, my wife works with him. You want to Sasha. And tell me, um, and he basically brings you, you collect scrap metal? What, what, what do you work? Only scrap metal. Only scrap metal. Sometimes parties. Not working, does he stay in the stable or is he, is he out? Okay. Now we can stay on the stable. Always go. This is, um, as you know, this is Simba and he's been on our calendars quite a few times because he's absolutely beautiful. Very, very well looked after. And as you can see, your son is also clearly taken by him and especially Sasha. <laughs> Brilliant. Nathan, thank you so much. <laughs> Ah, such a s special, special pair. <laughs> I know, that horse and Sasha, the <laughs> happiest dog on the Cape Flats. We featured her before and she spends her day every day with her best friend and what an absolute darling Simba is. He's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I remember the day we nearly had a disaster when Simba wanted to go somewhere quickly and he left her at the clinic site and she tried to run out the gate after him. It was quite scary. <laughs> Poor Sasha. <laughs> yeah. So, as you know, everybody that watches us faithfully are nine viewers. We have nine viewers right now online. <laughs> we don't only do this for fun as much as Karen and I enjoy this. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> oh, we have 10. We just went up to 10. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Nice. Oh, we, um, we are also doing this. So uh, instead of having that second cup of coffee, when you go out with your friends, why don't you donate that 20 Rand, 40 Rand to Cart Horse instead? And in addition to that, I have to tell you, we have got a big fundraising surprise coming up. 
at the end of the year for Giving Tuesday. We are hosting an eight hour live stream bonanza where Karen will be telling you all about our horses at the R&R. &R. Yes. We're going to, oh, 12. We just went up to 12 viewers. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're gonna, oh my goodness. Karen's going to spend the day at the re rehabilitation center in Furlands, yes. and she's going to introduce you to each and every horse that lives there, as well as our wonderful grooms that look after them and who never, ever get any credit for the hard work yes. they do. So please share this event with your friends. Let them know. We're going to be telling you every Wednesday from now on. So every Wednesday, watch our stream. And on Tuesday, 30 November, tune in and meet all of the horses at the R&R, &R, all of the grooms. And please make sure your friends know about this so that we can raise our much needed funds. We need to raise 300,000 rand. So please share with everybody. Thank you. <laughs> And then I just, I just, oh, I just saw there some comments coming in, but they're not, um, they're just questions, which I will answer later. Nanandi, thank you. Um, yes, it is the, it's the road on the hill, the one on the hill. That's, that's where we located. She just wanted to know where the R&R &R is located. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that's first question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As you know, I normally do the office cat insert, but we have a positive menagerie of animals at the R&R &R and at, at, the, at the Epping site. So every year we have these birds that nest in the backfield. But this year, because all of our office staff aren't there, they've actually moved to the in front of the fence. So for the first time ever, we have managed to catch the babies on film. And here they are. <laughs> What we have under the bushes. Come on, Ma. Hi, here, Papa. Oh, how special. I was there on Monday <laughs> and I couldn't see any of yeah, the brothers except for mom and dad. They were very protective, but they've become quite used to us. And, and Carl has created an amazing garden of Eden in the middle of Epping. And we can quite <laughs> understand why these dick copies have also decided to call the clinic home. Yep. <laughs> Folks, up next, I'm done. Down memory lane insert. While traveling in Aitzach one day, Inspector Diana was stopped by Chris Manuel a previous horse owner from Freedom Farm. He told Diana they had a goat and that he wanted cart horse to take down the marking, markings and register the goat with our association. As there were a lot of goats in Freedom Farm and he did not want anyone accusing him of stealing the goat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Diana told him to report to the clinic thinking that would be the last she would hear of his story. Sure enough, at the next clinic in Freedom Farm, there was Chris Manuel with his goat. Diana duly took down the markings and took some photographs and discussed the goat at length with him, 
but a lovely story and our first registered goat on our books. <laughs> oh, place quiz. That is such a lovely story. Well, you do get cards. You do get you do get carts drawn by goats, so I suppose he's just proactive in case he ever wants a goat cart. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, incredible. Any of, our, any of our previous episodes, please go onto our website and click on the Coffee with Cart Horse tab. All of the episodes are there, so you can watch them all through 1 through 26, and today's will be up there after the show. And um, they're also on YouTube, or you can go on our Facebook and look in our videos, and any of the previous episodes are there. So if there's anything that you feel you've missed or you want to see, then please feel free to go and watch those episodes again. Thanks, Marika. And on that note, folks, please remember to like and share our page, as Marika says, and we really, really do need your support. And as I always say, no donation is ever too big or too small. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to order your beautiful 2022 calendar. And don't forget to make that donation instead of having that second cup of coffee. And as Marika said, please watch our show, social media platforms for our Giving Tuesday special, You Do Not. You do not want to miss it. Until next Wednesday, be safe and take care. And remember to donate that extra cup of coffee. Bye. Bye now.